Hi guys, welcome to week 10 of training for the following races. Newport Liberty Half, Atlantic City Marathon, Philadelphia Marathon, and the Goofy Challenge in Disney World. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things. I just finished my long run on Sunday. I am actually starting this video doing an intro because I forgot to do it during the week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a tough, tough week, but I think I passed somewhat with flying colors. So let's watch the video. Hey guys, today is Monday. It's at the end of the work day. Um, I managed to get on the train to New York City to meet with my friend. Um, the one that I mentioned in my prior video was coming from Spain. So, yeah, I'm going to meet her and her two sons. And um, I'm super excited. I am meeting them at Times Square. And I don't really know what we're going to do. I'm guessing we're going to have dinner. But, yeah, I am excited. I texted her on WhatsApp, which is what Europeans use to message each other, and she hasn't texted me back. So I hope you're still on track and they're not like somewhere where they don't have reception. Because I don't know how the international plan works when you come from Europe here. But yeah, so today's my rest day. I didn't run today, and obviously I'm not gonna run today because I'm gonna get make it home pretty late. I don't think I'm gonna be home before 10 30. So yeah. Well, good morning guys. Today's Tuesday. I wake up so congested in the mornings. It's not even, I mean, it's real bad. Um, today is like very, there's a lot of fog and I'm running with Ginger. That's why you see me in the car and we are trying a new place. So we are going to go to, instead of running in Princeton, we are going to run at Mercer Lake, which is the lake where they do the New Jersey Triathlon. It's kind of equidistance from both of us. I think it's a little bit further from her than it is from me. But yeah, so we should be there in like 20 minutes. Let's do it. minutes 10 minute miles guys can't be more exact i mean pretty cool still productive which makes me happy and yeah good very nice Whew. man that was a good run okay i'm gonna head home i'm tired let's go and i think this is the perfect time to ask you guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe for more videos like this one. Good morning, Wednesday. Supposed to be my rest day, but I've been taking 
pretty much since we started this training block, I've been taking Monday off. So yeah, today we are going to do a little bit of hill action. We'll do heel repeat. I did two miles more than I should have yesterday, or a mile and a half actually, something like that. Yeah, I did almost two miles more than I should have. I'm gonna cut this training short a little bit. Instead of doing the seven miles that I required, I'm just gonna do six. So yeah, we're gonna get it done now. The sun is super strong today, and my eyes are not doing well. Anyway. Once I get down there, I'll be fine. I'm on the shade. So, yeah. So, we're going to do two miles warm up, six 400 heel repeats, and then one mile cool down. Let's do it. meters on the hill and I am like 100 meters 150 meters from the actual hill so I had to stop my watch wish me luck guys the first mile well I I went too fast so I was supposed to be in between 12 and 13 minute miles and I ended up doing 1050 I think on 1040 so I couldn't dial the speed back so I hope I don't pay it now because usually when you go out too fast in your warm-up, then you pay it on the health. So, let's do it. Okay, first one done. I'll put the speed right here. And then I will put how long it took me to do those 400 meters right here. Okay, let's do the downhill. Okay, so I don't know how long that was either. I will put speed here and then I will put the total time that it took me to do the 400. And now we're gonna go for the third one, guys. Okay, that was three, and you know the drill pace and how long it took me. Fourth, we only have one left, but this is how it went pace and how long it took I'm not gonna see how I'm doing till the end so yeah guys you know more than I know I'm just eyeballing them I'm just going as fast as I can up the hill so yeah my watch is not buzzing too much so I am hoping I'm kind of in that range that I need to do. So, yeah. Oof, okay, faith is coming here. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to see that one because I stopped the Garmin. I don't know how I did it. We don't know. I was going pretty fast though. I was like booking it. So, but yeah, it is what it is, you guys. We're not gonna know how the fifth went. And now I have another roughly 300 meters and then a mile so we're gonna get it done okay Seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay i move on each and every day the past is where it stays way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time. Good morning. Today's Thursday. I only have three miles on the plan, three easy miles. And this weekend I have to change things around. So supposedly I have three miles today, easy, and then I have nine miles and then 19 on Saturday. However, I want to run my 19 miler with Ginger in preparation for riding together, for racing together, I should say. And um, 
she can't do it Saturday. She needs to do it Sunday. So I'm going to run the nine miler. They need to be back to back. So I'm going to run the nine miler on Saturday and then 19 miler on Sunday. Um, so yeah, so to, that means today is a three mile easy run and tomorrow I have four miles easy run as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do strength training today and I probably want to do full body. Yeah, I'll do full body. Okay, so let's do this. It's a crisp mor morning. It's like 60, I think. I didn't check, but it must be like 60. Anyway, let's do it. Be fine. I strive just to say I'm all right. And for the first time in a long time, I'm all right. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Things are not the same as they were a year ago, but all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. Gorgeous morning, guys. So I thought I would just go and calculate randomly what three miles would be and just run. Run at an easy pace that felt comfortable and I had the watch on me to measure my vitals and speed and everything but I didn't look at the watch. And as it turns out, I did 3.1 miles in 30 minutes and 26 seconds in a super, super easy, comfortable pace. So, yeah, pretty cool, guys. Really, really cool. Performing condition was a zero, like a baseline, baseline. It didn't even move up or down. That's pretty cool. Usually when I start my run, it goes higher, and then when I'm ending, it goes under, like at minus two or something like that because you're tired. But this one was completely flat. So, very nice. Comfortable, high rate. It went a little bit into the threshold, into zone four, but only a little bit, so. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna do strength training. We'll see if I can find full body on Sydney Cummins. She has such a long playlist, I'm sure I will. Hal Higdon, the app says overall B plus, last nine days B plus. And that's because I had to cut my runs short last week. If you've been following me for a little bit, you know that I use the Hal Higdon app for this training block. I've used it in the past and I've been super, super satisfied with my times and how I trained and everything. It's really interesting that it sort of gives you some information on each run on just like advice and here it says you have nine weeks of marathon training to go your mileage will increase during these weeks are you well positioned for the next push upward in quality and quantity i certainly hope so he's warning me that after this week pretty much every week is 50 miles so i don't think i've ever done 50 miles i think i've, I've done 45 46 but never 50 so this is when, when um, injuries appear, don't overtrain. Um, and it says not to run if you have the flu. I really should get the um, shot, the flu shot. I really don't want to get it. Okay. Well, so in theory, tomorrow is my marathon pace run, nine miles, and then the long run Saturday, and a recovery run of four miles on Sunday. So, I'm going to have to tweak all of that. Yep. Okay, so we're going to do 30 minutes of arms and shoulders. That's what we're going to do because we don't have time for more. I was downloading stuff from the camera to the phone and I lost track of time. So, I don't have any more time. I need to get this going. 
we'll do um, full body or legs. We'll do legs another time. You might see a washed up figure. You might see a shell of a man. But if you listen closely, you'll learn this was never my plan. For years I fought corruption. The wicked, the wrathful, the wrong. Just kept doing it by myself, hoping others would come along. I lost interest, I lost heart. I was the only one doing my part. Bad guy falls and scaling walls. Put an end to those late night calls. Crime out there, I just don't care. Evil lurking everywhere. I don't fly, I'm just a regular guy. I'm a lonely Japanese superhero. Crime out there, I just don't care. Evil lurking everywhere. I gave up the fight, I walk alone in the night. I'm a lonely Japanese superhero. You don't know wrong from right. You can't tell dark from light. At a very young age, I had some skills that no one had ever seen. Not the stuff you see in action films or in fantasy magazines. I'd have strange premonitions where things didn't seem quite right. Dangerous situations would trigger a warning light. Blessed with speed, born with brawn. All these talents made me withdrawn. Spending my prime, taking on crime. Isolated all the time. Crime out there, I just don't care. Evil lurking everywhere. I don't fly, I'm just a regular guy. I'm a lonely Japanese superhero. Crime out there, I just don't care. Evil lurking everywhere. I gave up the fight, I walk alone in the night I'm a lonely Japanese superhero You don't know wrong from right You can't tell dark from light So today I was debating if I should do my run first, my four miles, or the um, strength training. But given that the four miles are easy, I'm gonna do the strength training first, then I'll do the run, the running. So we're gonna do 40 minutes, and I picked one from Sydney Cummings playlist. I think it's um, butts and thighs. I think. Anyway, legs. Okay, changed my mind. We're gonna do 50 minutes of another workout. It's in the comments as well, but the 40 minute one was hit. I don't wanna do hit because I do a lot of cardio anyway with running. So I just wanna do building muscle, core stress training. That's what I wanna do. So yeah, this is 50 minutes of exercises.
just pure insanity, guys. So now I'm gonna do four miles slow and call it a day. Let me turn this off. Okay, we got my aftershocks, my shocks, and uh, garbage people are coming. 47 minutes, four miles. Proud of that run because it was kind of hard. Like, yeah, it was kind of hard. I didn't sleep well. Or I should say, I slept well, but I didn't sleep enough. Because my son was texting me late. It was like, well, late for me at like 9.30. So I continued texting him back. He was telling me about stuff that was going on that was really cool in college. So yeah, I didn't go to bed till 11. And then Annie woke me up at 5.20 this morning. So yeah, now I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna continue with my day. Good morning. <clears throat> I'm so congested today. I don't know, some days I'm really congested. And I don't know what it is. Nine miles, Saturday, I don't know how we're gonna do this, guys. I'm tired and I'm super achy from the strength training because I did two days back to back. I did upper body and then I did lower body. And especially my lower body is like complaining big time, yeah yelling back at me and tomorrow 19 and I waited way too long because I had a slight headache and um, yeah, I was waiting for it to like kind of go away I hydrated well I have my Gatorade here Just turned around. I did 4.5. I'm gonna do 4.5 back. I'm doing really good with the Gatorade as opposed to last week. Last week I drank the whole thing by this point, but I'm doing good. So, yeah, Oof. it's hot, guys. It's probably 75. It's hot for a long run, for a run of this length. Yeah. My legs are shot, like completely shot. Every time I run, my glutes scream at me because of all, well, the glute work, hamstring work I did yesterday. They're like screaming back at me. So even when I walk, it's bad, you guys. Okay, almost six.
there's a hill here. Every single week, I find it so hard to go over it. I don't know, there's no cars coming now. Now, you see that? It's super hilly. Yeah. And right about this point is when I'm like, my legs are... Okay, I drink every time I say my legs are shut. Good Lord. I'm in the last couple steps here. Almost home, guys. I need to go to the shade. I am freaking roasting. Okay. Oh, man. I am so thirsty, you guys. So, so, so thirsty. Look at that. Recovery, 30 hours. You're not gonna get 30 hours, buddy. You're not, because tomorrow we have 19 miles. So, not happening. My heart rate didn't go up too high, 165, which is kind of threshold. And then, this is unproductive. My VO2 max went down. It's just too hot. It's fine. Training load 805. 921. 1126. Let's see the splits. Man. Incredibly hot, you guys. Laps. 1140. 1244. 1141, 1133, 1148, 1116, 1059, 1035, 1058. That's it. So I did the second half faster than the first half, which is good. Especially because I had two really super inclined hills on the way back. Okay. Training effect 3.6 aerobic, and that's it. No anaerobic effect. Okay, that's it, you guys. It's 10 right now. And I am like, oof, the heat. The heat is just incredibly annoying. Good morning today, Sunday. The Bikahuna today, guys. 19 miles we'll see how we can do this um, my legs are pretty affected by yesterday's nine miler oh there's deer right here in the middle of the road it's a bambi like truly a bambi oh. anyway so my legs are pretty sore and my glutes from mainly from the workout that I did Thursday. Was it Thursday or Friday? Friday. I did it Friday. So yeah, probably not wise to do it till close to a long run. Um, starting next week, I'm gonna shift my workouts and I'm gonna do them much earlier, not so close to um, the long run because next week is super tough. Um, we are going into the toughest portion of the training plan and uh, next week we have a 10 miler on Friday and a 20 miler on Saturday so yeah and then I have a couple travel trips a couple trips for work so I'm gonna have to shift things around um, as well so that I can get in my workouts it's gonna be interesting because this is like the face like the peaking face things get very very not that they haven't been tough they've been tough but um, they're getting even tougher and now it's when the injuries happen and you have to be well rested and well stretched and eat well and all that speaking of which I made superhero muffins the ones that Shalene Flanagan sort of created um, they've been like all over Instagram so I did pumpkin 
superhero muffins and they are so good. I made 12 and um, my husband and I ate so many of them already but I have one in a little tupperware to bring that to bring it to Ginger so that she can try them because I posted on Instagram and she was curious about them. They're really good. I mean it's like both my husband and I gave them a 10 out of 10 so they're very very good. They are made with, they're gluten free. Um, not that I, I'm not gluten free. I'm going to take this off. I'm not gluten free but um, yeah they're, they're just really good. They have pumpkin, oats, almond flour, um, eggs. I mean it's it's a solid, yeah. They're really good. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. So I ate one of my bellies full because they're very filling. Um, I put all the ingredients into my fitness pal and then I divide it by 12 and they have like 300 calories each. I mean, it's not, I don't think, I think a real muffin made with wheat flour, I think it has more calories, but um, I don't know. I mean, they're very filling. They have a lot of fiber, so they're very filling. Okay, so this says I'm going to be there at 6.50. Um, I'm going to be five minutes late. Okay, I hope I don't have traffic. I shouldn't have any traffic Sunday morning. But we're meeting where we met um, on Tuesday. So, yeah. And then in September, September 1st, um, there's a um, challenge on Zwift that I do every time they have it. They have it twice a year. I'm going to be doing a lot of runs on Swift, um, and that's going to be fun. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited because on my team, it's a group challenge. So on my team, we have a lot of people training for marathons. Amongst them, Jamie, who is running um, Dopey. He's running other marathons. He's super fast. So Jamie, Megan, and I are going to run the half marathon together. Megan and Jamie are much faster than I am. They said they would accommodate my pace, but we shall see. I don't want to hold them back. It's, it's going to be very interesting, but... There's a groundhog looking at us. I don't feel comfortable. Oh, the, the hole is right there. It went under. Did you see it? I got it on camera. Oh man, I hate groundhogs. Nine miles done. No, almost ten actually. We're stopping at the bathroom. It's actually not that hot right now, so that's good. And uh, we've been stopping here and getting water. I'm gonna use it. So Ginger's leaving. She's barefoot. 13.2. <laughs> she put in the work. Now I have another five, right? Six because I didn't make it to 14. Uh, no, it's 19. 14. So. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Six. I have six. Runner's math. Did you really have hard. to say it? Oh my Runner's god, math. I was like, I only have five more. Because like, no. uh, if I made it to 14, you only have five more, but I only made it to 13. And you're cool. going to feel really good about it when you're done. 
now she's left so I'm just gonna go do this loop and yeah I don't know guys how do you make 26.2 happen when 14 make you well not even 14 13 point something make you be tired I'm gonna run with my Gatorade. I'll finish it. I had a go gurt, so 90 calories, a little bit of sugar. It felt heavy. This is one mile each way. So I'm just gonna stay here. So I do 18, I guess, and then go one loop around the boat house. Yeah. I'm really sore. Sixteen and a half, two and a half left. We can do this. We're gonna do it. So, there's so many people now on the trail. One mile left. I'm gonna go 0.5 that way and 45 back, and that's it. I'm gonna call it a day. Man, this was a huge effort, guys. I'm gonna come right after the right under the three hours 30, and I am like busted. So, yeah. Half a mile left. Just now, I started tasting ketones in my mouth so pretty sure right now it started burning fat are this running wild look at them the guys on the motorized boat are living the life <laughs> I'm gonna back this guys and I'm gonna feel super badass after I'm done and this is it another week I think I ended up with like close to 50 miles first time in a long time I go that far in mileage if you like videos like this one give a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe for more and I'll see you next week run fearless you guys